G'day folks, welcome to one of the more formidable obstacles out on course, the Fortress, which is arguably as ominous as it is challenging. But have no fear, I'm going to give you the rundown on this beast that'll have you as successful as David was over Goliath. The Fortress is very much a climbing obstacle, so spending some time doing some bouldering, some rock climbing or going to your local climbing gym will pay dividends towards success in this obstacle. Also developing your pull up strength, your grip strength and your core strength will also help out a lot as well. Now just like climbing, you've got to have a plan, you've got to have a strategy in place when tackling this obstacle. So I'm going to give you four steps to look at for helping with that plan. We're going to look at the start, the hook, the reach and the final climb. First up is the start. Now you do have a couple options to run with when you approach the fortress. Now you want to make sure you go to the right side because we do have a ladies and a guys side. To figure that out, just have a look at this pillar here or this one here. And if you see a red or a pink block, then that is the lady's side. If you see no block at all on the pillar, then that is the guy's side. Now, before you get going, you want to make sure that you start on this wall because the rules state you've got to start here first before you start your climb. You can't just jump up and grab a handhold and make your way up. So, that being said, you've got a left side and a right side to work with. This is going to dictate which way you face the pillar and which hand you use to hook in and reach with. Now we want to make sure we face the pillar because this can assist us as we climb but more importantly you don't want to run into it as you go up. So if I'm on the left side I'm going to be hooking in with my right hand and if I'm on the right side I'm going to be hooking in with my left hand. So to get going we start the climb by making our way up the blocks and then because I'm on the right side I'm going to reach up with my left hand and grab hold of that top handhold. Once we reach up to this top handhold, we're starting to move into the hook phase. Now this is all about creating a strong and secure anchor point for moving into the next step. So we can go with a palm facing us this way, hooking in tight, or we can reach in over the top of the block and hook our fingers in this way. But what we want to do is find what works for us where we can get a strong and secure grip before we begin to move. So I prefer going this way because I can get a really secure, strong grip. From there, once I'm hooked in, I bring my right leg up to the next block, pull myself in close, and then I'm ready for the next step. Once you've got your hand hooked in nice and securely, you're ready for the reach. Now, when you're reaching, we're actually going for that next handhold. That's our goal. So stay in nice and close, and you want to use your legs as much as possible. So push from the wall, stay in close as you reach. Now there's two ways you can do this. There's another handhold here. So if we hold in here nice and tight, we can pull ourselves in, bring our other leg up, push from the wall with our legs and reach through and grab that top handhold. The second way is a little bit trickier. So resetting that start position. From here, we're using our momentum, pushing with the leg and we reach up and grab that next handhold in one motion. Now aim to grab to the far right of the handhold. Leave yourself a little bit of space because that's going to make the climb that much easier. To move into the final climb, we need to move our bottom hand to meet our top hand so we can continue upwards. Now there's a few ways you can do this, but I'm going to take you through the simplest and we're going to use the pillar to do so. So for ladies, this is where we can step across, grab hold with our feet and put our foot onto that block. That's where that block comes in handy. From here we just move our hand across and we can hold on nice and tight. We use our legs as we climb, moving our foot up, then our hands and we just climb up like a ladder. Now for the guys, you don't have access to that block but we can still use that pillar. So let me just reset into that bottom position and from here all I do is use the pillar, clutch on, grab tight walk my legs up and then grab on and then once again I can use those positions use my feet use my hands and climb it like a ladder so I work my way up and up and over the top once you get into this position the hard part is over it's just a matter of continuing your climb working your way up onto the cargo net and then from there climb the cargo net over the top then follow the ladder down through the middle. If you stick to this game plan, 
you're going to be up and over this obstacle without a burpee in sight. <laughs> 